Good afternoon, everybody, and hello from Giles Honey, or what is left of it. <laughs> so uh, I'm kind of taking everything with a grain of salt right now, with a little bit of humor. But uh, uh, if you watch my previous video, you'll know that I did not have a good survival rate out of, out of uh, a field of about 10 hives. I thought this was my only survivor, but we come back over here, come to find out. When I glanced into this one, I guess I didn't glance good enough because when we look inside, we have bees. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start pounding the food to these guys as well. I've already uh, given this one over here a bunch of food and uh, I just gave him some Formic Pro and uh, to ward off any early mites that might be building up inside the hives. And then uh, we're gonna be cleaning up. We're putting all the dead outs and all the extra stuff over here on a pallet. And we'll come down and clean everything up. So, um, so yeah, not quite as bad of a of a winter as I thought it was. You see this one here, it's got some dysentery or something that came out. So we'll be working at this one really, really hard to get it back healthy, both of them really. So uh, I'm gonna go through the other dead outs. I got a mess over here. I got stuff thrown every which way. Looks like a tornado came through here. So I'll be going through these other ones again just to make sure that they're all dead outs. Because uh, I could have swore that one was, and lo and behold, we get a bunch of bees in it. So, anyway, it's just a real quick video. Um, we'll uh, we'll be, I think, after a little bit of contemplation, I think I am going to try to build back up this year. So, if I can get these two to build up, I'll split both of them into probably three each, so that'll give me back up to six. That's probably all I'll do this year. Um, you know, last year at this time, I tried getting up to twenty. Uh, I just don't have the time. I don't have the space. Um, and, and you know, so I, I want to be realistic about my goals. So, and plus, I've got some other other stuff going on with the grapevines as well. So, this whole field might actually be turned into a, a vineyard here at some point. But uh, in the meantime, we'll we'll keep the bees kind of at a level where I where I think I can manage. Uh, you know, last year they got a little bit ahead of me. So, we'll we'll you know kind of regroup, reevaluate, and kind of figure out what we want to do. But uh... okay, so we got the yard. Pretty much cleaned up all the dead out stuff on that pallet back there we've got this uh double brood box here with the uh the camouflage tape on the front that one's a good one and the one over here with the blue tape is a good one that being said this one here is a little weak uh i uh i treated them both with formic pro they both have a ton of food in them in fact actually the top box is pretty much all honey on both of them. Uh, I just basically took all the dead outs, all the resources out of those, and then used them to feed these two. And then I still have 15 frames with honey on them, honey, pollen, and whatnot here that I've got to uh, uh, protect a little bit. What I'll probably do is just for now, just to protect them, make sure other animals don't get in, is, is just create a, you know, a three stack on one of them or two of them. I'll have to use a 10 frame on that five frame, just take some, some empties inside it. Uh, some empty frames but uh, other than that all this stuff here we'll try to get cleaned up surprisingly out of all these dead outs down here and uh i didn't even have i didn't have mouse guards on and a lot of them i didn't even have the entrance reducers on surprisingly and i know if you watch my other videos you know there was it was extremely horrible beekeeping last winter just because of you know life and whatnot but i can't do anything about it now so uh that was the only one that had a mouse in it so i kept that separate i'll go up and all the wood frames i'm just going to burn plastic ones i may or may not try to salvage uh, you know i'll scrape them down really good and, and uh, clean them with some uh, clorox or whatever to get all the germs off and then the brood box i'll take a uh, uh, blow torch and uh, just kind of go around it make sure i'm killing off all the germs wash it really good uh, before i decide to put it back in into the rotation but other than that, I'll, like I said, I'll be cleaning up a lot of this stuff and then uh, storing a lot of it because I'm, I'm not going to be doing 12 hives this year. I might get up to six uh, just because I, that's all the time I have for. Uh, but anyways, uh, so there we are, you know. Uh, bad winter, bad survival rate, you know, but uh, it could have been worse. You know, out of the 12 that I had, two survived. So uh, we can rebuild on that and then move into this year and hopefully... You know, life will uh, give me a little bit more time 
if I do decide to build up this back up again because I really do enjoy it. Uh, you know, something about beekeeping, it, it's relaxing. It, it kind of puts you at one with nature. You get to see the full cycle, you know, of what your impact on, on the environment. And, uh, and so it's, it's just, it's, so to me, it's a lot of, a lot of fun and, and relaxation. And of course you get the honey at the, fair, at the, at the distant end that, uh, on the back end, I should say, and that you can sell or make mead or whatever. Um, you know, but, uh, but anyways, there we have it. Thanks. Thanks for watching again. Really appreciate it. And, uh, uh, again, if you're a beekeeper, especially in the, in the colder climates, I'd love to hear from you. Um, you know, how was your winter? You know, what was your survival rate like? What did you do that, uh, you know, that helped, helped positive survival rate? And what are you going to do this spring to make sure that next winter is going to be a good one? So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching.